Hi again. Today we're going to keep reading about animal BFFs. These are real stories about animals who are friends. And remember, the authors in this book are teaching us how to be a good friend, but they're also teaching us facts about animals. So the first story we're going to read today is called Gerald and Eddie. What animals are we going to learn about in this story? That's right, first a giraffe, and then, do you know what that little guy is called? He's a goat. I want you to remember goats because we're also going to be learning about goats in our mystery science experiment today. So Gerald and Eddie, let's see what we can learn about giraffes and what we can learn about goats. Let me show you the picture while I'm reading. Gerald the giraffe lives in a zoo in England. When he first arrived in England from Africa, he was two years old. He had a hard time making friends in his new home. He was so shy and he was very nervous. What did we just learn about giraffes? Where do they usually live when they live in nature? I'm going to read you a little bit of this again. When he first arrived in England from Africa, he was two years old. So where do giraffes usually live? That's right, in Africa. The zookeepers tried to introduce him to new giraffes, but he didn't get along with any of them. Everyone began to worry. Gerald must have felt lonely. The zookeepers knew he needed a friend, but who? What kind of friend do you think would be good for him? He's a little shy and a little lonely. He has the same name as Piggy's friend. Wow, he's so tall. Eddie was born in the zoo. He's a loud, friendly goat who likes to hang out with other animals. The zookeepers decided to introduce Gerald and Eddie. Maybe Eddie could get through to Gerald and welcome him into his new home. At first, Gerald didn't like Eddie. The two animals couldn't be more opposite. Gerald was 15 feet tall. Eddie was a lot shorter. Gerald was shy. Eddie was confident, but soon the giraffe started to like the little goat. Can you be friends with somebody who's really different from you? Yeah, you can. When Eddie walked around, Gerald followed him. Before long, the two were chasing each other around the field. Eddie made Gerald feel comfortable in his new home, and the two animals became really close. It was almost as if the giraffe thought he was a goat himself. I'll try to show you that picture. Oh my goodness, look at the goat trying to eat the tree. Gerald often leans his long giraffe neck down to nuzzle his goat friend or lick his head. After all, Eddie normally can't see eye to eye with the tall giraffe. Sometimes the little goat tries to jump on Gerald's neck. That's his way of cuddling his giant friend. That's something we learn about goats right there. They love to jump. And you're gonna learn more about that in your mystery science lesson today. I can't even fit that whole picture of the giraffe in the camera for you to see how tall he is. The two friends spend every moment together, even when they're eating. The giraffe eats from a raised platform that's closer to his eye level, while the goat eats on the ground. But they still like to stand side by side during every meal. When they share a trough, which is a container for water, Big Gerald lets Eddie get his nose in first. Sometimes a zebra named Zebedee bullies Gerald but his goat friend sticks up for him and shoos Zebedee away. That tells us something about a good friend, right? Eddie is a loyal friend. The giraffe and the goat always make sure the other is happy. The zookeepers were proud of Gerald for making a new friend, and they wanted to introduce him to a giraffe again. At first, Gerald was stubborn. He didn't want to make a new friend. He already had one. 
but true to his character, Eddie stayed by Gerald's side and helped him along. When Gerald acted shy around the new giraffe, Eddie pushed him to get to know her. Gerald finally learned that the new giraffe, Genevieve, was pretty nice. With help from Eddie, Gerald and Genevieve became good friends. You know what that makes me think about? It makes me think of our story, my new friend is so fun. When you have a best friend, sometimes they'll even tell you, go make another friend. And they like it when you make new friends, right? Here, Piggy is being friends with somebody new. And at first, Gerald thought was, that was a problem. But then he thought, no, oh, it's good that Piggy has a new friend. And Gerald and Snake could be new friends, too. Eddie was happy because Gerald was happy. Eventually, Gerald and Genevieve went on to have two babies, one named George and one named Jeffrey. What do you notice about all those names? Gerald, Genevieve, George, and Jeffrey. They all start with the letter G, like Genesis. It never would have happened without help from their little friend, Eddie. Gerald and Eddie may have been opposites both in size and personality, but it doesn't mean that they couldn't be friends. If Gerald could talk, he'd say that even the smallest of friends can make the biggest difference. Let's think about some things we learned about giraffes and goats in this story. You can pause the video and tell someone or you can tell me. What did you learn about giraffes and goats? I know that giraffes are very tall. They can be 15 feet tall, which is like three of me standing on top of each other. And goats love to jump and they're really friendly and playful. We're going to learn more about that in science today. I want to read you one more story. If you need to pause for a minute and take a little break, you can. I know I'm doing a lot of reading today. This one is called Joker and the Dolphins. What animals are we going to learn about in this one? There's a dolphin, and what is Joker? A dog. Now, in our mystery science lesson that we're going to watch, we're also going to learn about dolphins. Do you think that dolphins can laugh? We're going to find out more about that in science class. That picture's a little hard to see. There's a dolphin swimming under the water, and there's a dog swimming on top of the water. When you visit a dolphin park, you expect to see, what else? Dolphins. What you don't expect to see is a dog, but that's exactly what you'll find at this pretty beachside dolphin park in Israel. Israel is another country. It took some time for the friendship between Joker the dog and his dolphin family to grow. Before he befriended the dolphins, he had to charm the dolphin park staff. The little dog first wandered into the dolphin park on his own, and the staff shooed him away. What did they say to him? Shoo, shoo. Groups of tourists had paid to swim, snorkel, and dive with the dolphins, and there was no room for a stray dog at the busy park. Have you ever heard of that before? Sometimes people go where dolphins are, and they swim with them. Can you imagine how fun that would be? So you can see here are all the people watching the dolphin. It looks like some of them are getting ready to jump in there too. But the next morning, can I show that to you while I'm reading? Hmm. I guess I can show you like that. But the next morning, the shaggy dog trotted down the pier again. He wasn't interested in any of the people, just the dolphins. Joker had never seen anything like them. He perched at the edge of the pier to study the playful dolphins as they splashed in the sea. Joker watched the bottlenose dolphins all day, and they watched him, too. Dolphins are naturally curious. Oh, we learned something about dolphins right there. Since he wasn't bothering any of the tourists, the staff let Joker spend the day. When the sun set, Joker left the dolphin park but he returned the next morning to see his dolphin friends. And the morning after that, he showed up too. The dolphin park workers couldn't believe it. Like clockwork, the dog showed up each morning to peer into the sea at the dolphins. Sounds like he's pretty curious too. 
Then, one day, Joker was feeling brave. What do you think he did when he was feeling brave? He leaped into the salty water. Splash! Joker wasn't watching anymore. He was swimming with his dolphin friends. Now the dolphin park workers had seen it all. At first, they were worried for the little dog. What would the sea-bound creatures think of this landlocked animal now? Sea-bound creatures means that dolphins live in the sea. And landlocked animal means that usually dogs live on the land. The dolphins were surprised, but Joker was a friendly face. Soon, Joker and the dolphins were swimming together every day like old friends. Did you know that dogs can swim in the water? They can. Joker is a good swimmer, but he can't swim as fast as a dolphin. Bottlenose dolphins glide through the water with ease thanks to their th sleek skin, body shape, and muscular tails. Those are all the things that help them swim well. Sleek skin, that means kind of soft and shiny. Body shape and muscular tails. I guess their tails are really strong. Joker can only dog paddle, and his fluffy fur weighs him down, but that doesn't stop him. Eventually, Joker began to understand the dolphins. He knows when he can and can't jump in the water. When the dolphins are eating, Joker stays out of the water. When they tease him, he jumps in. Since the dolphins and the dog were now best friends, the dolphin workers decided to keep an eye on Joker. They wondered where he went every night. One worker followed him home and finally met his owner. For a while, Joker would get a ride home from one of the dolphin park workers every night. But soon, Joker's owner let him move in permanently at the dolphin park. Now the diving dog has become a popular sight at the dolphin park, maybe even more popular than the dolphins. It took Joker and the dolphins a long time to form a friendship. The sleek sea creatures looked completely different from the furry pup, and they didn't understand one another's language. But getting to know one another was part of the fun of this friendship. What did we learn about dogs? and dolphins in that story. You can tell somebody if someone's watching with you, or you can tell me. So we know that dogs can swim. Maybe we didn't know that before. You might have also noticed that dolphins like to live in groups and they try to communicate with each other. I thought it was interesting in this book too to learn about friendship. Sometimes even when we're really different from somebody, we might have something we like to do together. Think about some of the people maybe you used to play basketball or soccer with during recess or go on the monkey bars with. Maybe you weren't friends in other places, but when you play together at recess, you realize that you like to be together, just like Joker and the dolphins like to swim together in the water. So today is Thursday, which means we're going to do some more learning about animals. So today your link is to, my to Mystery Science. Go down there to the description. Click on the link for today's lesson. It's called, Can Animals Laugh? What do you think? Can Animals Laugh? So Doug and his scientist friends are going to show us all about animals, and you're going to learn the answer to the question, Can Animals Laugh? If you want a little more science, at the end of the lesson, you'll see a little gift and you can click on it. And Doug is going to share some super surprising ways that animals can play. I think you're really going to like that one. So check it out. If you have a lot of fun with this lesson, you can do an activity on Seesaw. You, you don't have to do this one, but if you'd like to go on to Seesaw and draw a picture of an animal laughing or playing and tell us about the drawing that you made. Okay, friends, I'll see you tomorrow on Friday. Bye.